In the heart of Mumbai's crime-ridden alleys, a kingpin was born. His name, Dawood Ibrahim. Born into the gritty and bustling streets of Dongri, Mumbai, Dawood's early life was a far cry from the notorious reputation he would later cultivate. His father, a constable by profession, was a man of the law, a stark contrast to the path his son would eventually tread. Young Dawood, in his formative years, would assist his father in his duties, a seemingly innocent beginning to a life that would spiral into the underworld. Growing up in a neighborhood riddled with crime and chaos, Daywood's destiny was shaped by his surroundings. Yet in these early years amidst the rough and tumble of Dongri's streets, no one could have foreseen the transformation of this young boy into a formidable criminal mastermind. In these humble beginnings, no one could have predicted the rise of one of the world's most wanted men. Young Dawood was not content with a life of poverty. His ambition led him to establish one of the most feared criminal syndicates in the world, the D Company. A life of hardship and poverty can either break a person or forge them into something much stronger. In Dawood's case, it was the latter. From the crowded streets of Dongri, Mumbai, he emerged not as a victim of his circumstances, but as a master manipulator of them. D Company wasn't born overnight. It wasn't a sudden burst of criminal genius, but rather a slow, methodical rise through the ranks of the Mumbai underworld. Dawood started off small with petty crimes, but he was shrewd, observant. He saw the chinks in the armor of the Mumbai underworld, the power vacuums, the opportunities, and he exploited them. His initial ventures were in smuggling and extortion, but Dawood had bigger plans. He diversified D Company into drug trafficking, turning the organization into a multifaceted criminal enterprise. He established a network so vast, so deeply entrenched in the underworld, that it was almost impossible to uproot. Every move Dawood made was calculated. Every risk, every gamble was weighed against the potential rewards and it paid off. With every successful operation, his power grew. With every adversary he outsmarted, his reputation solidified. He was cunning, ruthless, and above all, ambitious. But it wasn't just about the money or power for Dawood. It was about respect, about proving that a boy from the slums could rise to the top. He was a mastermind, a strategist. He played the game of the underworld like a maestro, with every move in his symphony leading to his ascension. And so, from the depths of poverty, from the chaos of the Mumbai underworld, D Company was born. It was a testament to Dawood's ambition, his ruthlessness, and his sheer willpower. It was a symbol of his rise, from a petty criminal to the kingpin of one of the most feared criminal syndicates in the world. With the establishment of D Company, Dawood's reign of terror had only just begun. Dawood's name became synonymous with terror following the horrific Mumbai bombings in 1993. A series of 13 coordinated blasts tearing through the heart of India's economic capital left the city in ruins and its people in a state of shock and grief. The bombings claimed the lives of over 250 individuals and injured over 700. At the forefront of this act of terror was Dawood Ibrahim, the head of the infamous D Company. His alleged orchestration of these bombings marked a significant escalation in his criminal career from a notorious underworld don to a feared terrorist. The Mumbai bombings weren't just another crime for Dawood, they were a statement, a demonstration of his power and reach. Dawood and his associates were believed to have coordinated the bombings in retaliation to the Babri Mosque demolition and subsequent communal riots. The explosives used were reportedly smuggled into India via the Arabian Sea under Dawood's command. The blast targeted some of Mumbai's most iconic landmarks, including the Bombay Stock Exchange, Air India Building, and the Century Bazaar. The city's bustling life was brought to a standstill, replaced by an eerie silence punctuated only by the wails of sirens and cries of the injured. The Mumbai bombings were an act of terror that shook the nation to its core. They marked a dark chapter in India's history, a reminder of the destructive power of hatred and vengeance. In the aftermath of the bombings, Dawood's name was on everyone's lips. He was no longer just a criminal kingpin, he was a terrorist, a threat to national security. The Indian government launched a massive manhunt to bring him to justice. 
but Dawood, ever elusive, managed to slip away, leaving a trail of destruction in his wake. With India in shock, Dawood became the country's most wanted man, his face plastered on every news outlet. The Mumbai bombings had irrevocably changed his life, marking the beginning of his life on the run. As the Indian authorities closed in, Dawood did the unthinkable. He vanished. Like a specter in the night, Dawood Ibrahim, the man at the epicenter of a criminal empire and a reign of terror, slipped through the fingers of law enforcement and disappeared. The year was 1994. Dawood was a wanted man in India, his name echoing in the halls of power and justice. But as the net tightened around him, he made his great escape, leaving behind a trail of rumors and speculation. Gone, but certainly not forgotten. His escape from India was as enigmatic as the man himself. Some say he fled on a private jet, others claim he used his vast network of underworld connections to slip away unnoticed. The truth, as elusive as Daywood himself, remains shrouded in mystery. But where did the infamous kingpin disappear to? That's the million-dollar question that has kept investigators on their toes for decades. Rumors of Daywood's whereabouts have been as diverse as they have been persistent. From the luxurious high-rises of Dubai to the bustling streets of Karachi, his name has popped up in whispers and hushed conversations. The most prevalent of these rumors, and perhaps the most controversial, is his alleged association with Pakistan's Inter-Services Intelligence, or ISI. Some claim that Dawood found refuge in the arms of the ISI, operating his criminal empire from the shadows of Pakistan's power structures. These claims, while unverified, have added another layer of intrigue to the already convoluted saga of Dawood Ibrahim. Despite the international manhunt, Dawood has managed to elude capture for nearly three decades. His ability to evade the authorities speaks volumes about his influence, and the extent of his criminal network. His disappearing act, while a setback for authorities, was far from a retirement. Despite being on the run, Dawood's criminal empire continued to expand. The Great Escape, as it came to be known, marked a new chapter in the life of Dawood Ibrahim, one that saw him transform from a notorious gangster into an elusive phantom, always one step ahead of the law. For decades, Dawood has remained a ghost, eluding global authorities while continuing to run his criminal empire. His name, etched in the annals of crime history, has become synonymous with the term elusive kingpin. The hunt for Dawood has been a global effort involving agencies from various countries, all united by a single aim, to bring this criminal mastermind to justice. Despite the concerted efforts of organizations such as the FBI, the CIA, and MI6, Dawood remains a phantom, slipping through the cracks of international law enforcement like a wisp of smoke. A key player in this global manhunt is Interpol, the International Criminal Police Organization. Dawood's name features prominently on Interpol's most wanted list, his face a constant fixture amidst a rogues gallery of the world's most dangerous criminals. His crimes, ranging from organized crime and drug trafficking to terrorism, have earned him a spot on this infamous list, a testament to his reign of terror. The mystery surrounding Dawood's current location only adds to his enigmatic persona. Reports of his whereabouts have been as varied as they've been numerous. Some speculate that he's hiding in plain sight in a bustling metropolis, while others suggest he's tucked away in a remote corner of the world. There have even been rumors of him residing in a luxurious mansion in Karachi, Pakistan, guarded by the country's intelligence agency. However, these are all conjectures. His exact location remains a well-guarded secret. Despite the relentless pursuit, Dawood continues to elude capture, his shadowy presence reminding us of the chilling reach of the underworld. His criminal empire, far from crumbling, seems to thrive in his absence, a grim testament to his enduring influence. Even today, the specter of Dawood Ibrahim continues to haunt the world, his legacy a chilling reminder of the power of the underworld. From the streets of Mumbai to international infamy, Dawood Ibrahim's life reads like a crime thriller, a tale of a young boy who, instead of taking the path of righteousness, chose a life of crime and rose to become one of the most notorious figures in the underworld, a tale of a young boy who, instead of taking the path of righteousness, chose a life of crime and rose to become one of the most notorious figures in the underworld, a tale of a young boy who, instead of taking the path of righteousness, chose a life of crime 
and rose to become one of the most notorious figures in the underworld. The birth of D Company, his brainchild, marked the beginning of his reign. The birth of D Company, his brainchild, marked the beginning of his reign. The birth of D Company, his brainchild, marked the beginning of his reign. This empire of crime, built on blood and betrayal, orchestrated one of the most devastating attacks India has ever seen, the Mumbai bombings. In a twist of fate, or perhaps cunning foresight, Dawood slipped through the fingers of justice, disappearing without a trace. In a twist of fate, or perhaps cunning foresight, Dawood slipped through the fingers of justice, disappearing without a trace. In a twist of fate, or perhaps cunning foresight, Dawood slipped through the fingers of justice, disappearing without a trace. His current status? Alive yet elusive. His current status? Alive yet elusive. His current status? Alive yet elusive. The Phantom Kingpin, rumored to be hidden in plain sight, still evades capture. The Phantom Kingpin, rumored to be hidden in plain sight, still evades capture. The Phantom Kingpin, rumored to be hidden in plain sight, still evades capture. While Dawood Ibrahim remains at large, his story serves as a stark reminder of the dark underbelly of society and the men who rule it.